Where is this f***ing freezer? It's around here. Uh, Where do you keep the frozen? Right down here, Gordon. Let's have a look. So this is the frozen bit here. What's that? Frozen avocado. Are we not in Florida? And you can't make fresh avocado? Dude, this is fucked. Where's the freezer? Excuse me. Main walk-in. Wow, wow, wow. When was the last time you were in here? I come in here once a week at least, and I once a kinda, week. you know, just kind of look around or whatever. What is this? Wow. Oh man. Look at that. The water's gone slimy. And you come in here once a week. Yeah. What is that? Oh boy. Fucking hell. What is that? Pina colada. Pina colada. Why it's like that, I have no idea. It's festered, it's 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 off, it's bubbling. Oh man. That's terrible. Fuck. Trash please. <coughs> trash. <coughs> James, trash please now. Pina colada. Right down the drain. By the bucket load in the walk-in fridge. I mean, who in the hell operates like this? Gordon, this is Chef Ben's job. He's the executive chef. He's the executive chef. And you made him that executive chef, right? Sure I did. How'd you feel now? What's that? Tuna burger. That's from the burger? Yes, it is. Oh, my god. Seriously? Bacon. It's gone. It's, it's, it's off. Fresh produce on top of old produce. Moldy. And this one? Ribeye. Ribeye defrosting. Yeah. What is this? Those are the smoke grilled chicken wings before they go onto the char grill. Oh, my god. And what is in this one? You are kidding me. So underneath in that bucket is what? Cooked product. Cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. And on top of it is what? It's raw. Raw chicken on top of cooked chicken. I had them for lunch. I am at a fucking loss. Do you know the best way out of this? Is just to shut the place down. It's not an option for me. What's that in there, Ben? Those are marinated chicken wings. Yeah. To be smoked. Underneath, next box. Those are smoked. Rule number fucking one. Ben. I know. Chef, I didn't do it. You know, I turned my back for a minute, and this is the kind of shit that happens. And I walked in, and it was bedlam. He's telling me this is your fault. You've got no idea. I am at an absolute fucking loss. I can't work like this. This is huge. You now are running a restaurant cross-contaminated. You OK? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm OK. When were the chickens roasted? Two days ago. That's the last of them. Why do we roast them two days in advance? They're delivered twice a week. They're cooked off the delivery day. What kind of impression do you think you're sending out to your customers when that chicken's roasted two days before they come? I, 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 I... When do you think this chicken was roasted? You oh, my it. goodness, I hope it was today. It was roasted two and a half days ago. I am not happy to hear that at all. That was going to be dry as a dog's bone. But anyway, uh, try to enjoy. OK, thank you so much. I don't feel well anymore. Thank you, I was dry. <laughs> They've been coming for 12 years. You need to just seriously just focus on getting this night done. And they sit there all schmuck. I want to kick them out right now. Do you want us to take the food back? I mean, this is like so disappointing that you guys feel this way. I thought we were friends, and I, I thought you would have maybe told us if you felt the food sucked that much. You know, it's really, gosh, I feel, I feel like I want to pass out right now. Fucking hell. Um, so the lady you were just talking to over there mm -hmm. had no idea her chicken was roasted two and a half days ago. It was roasted two and a half days ago? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, OK, fine. I mean, it's no. not my business with him No, I'm just, I'm just, he God, you two are that. so defensive. There's a thousand different ways to make spetsnaz. I'd like and, to do with that. I'm talking and, about the chicken. You no, know, I mean, I'd, I'd love to find out the problem. Chicken, way. I'm talking to you about the chicken. Well, we Making an excuse again. Nothing, nothing resonates with you, does it? Nothing. It does, certainly any, does. It Absolutely, does. it all does. What in the hell? Ah, 
I just wanted to keep it together tonight. That's all. <laughs> uh, crazy. Are you like manic or something? I'm manic. Yes, I am right now. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, something between shitty and awful. What does it mean when you feel like an elephant sitting in your chest? Oh, you don't have a heart. You can't have a heart attack. Are you hungry, Gordon? What is this? That is bacon. Should be on a different shelf. And this here? That shouldn't be thrown there either. What's that? Beer batter for the beer batter shrimp. Should be thrown out. And this one? Let me just stack that on top. Sure, put it right on top. What is all this? That was bacon. Oh, no, no. no. Well, that's OK. No, why is it in your fridge like this? I dropped it one shelf below. Instead of putting where it belonged, I put it on the corner. Normally, these things are pretty orderly. This is a complete clusterfuck. And what's that? Corned beef. Let's, let's, get, let's get outside. Sure. Lisa, let's get outside. What is going on? The whole operation is screwed. The kitchen, shocking. The line, disaster. Cross-contaminated. Raw meat, cooked different, meat. Different foods, absolutely. Shit everywhere. And then the biggest asset, where all the money is, is downstairs in the wine cellar. Who's maintaining standards here? He is. I cannot believe what you've just done in there. I really enjoy it. You can't enjoy I that. I swear to God, I do. That's... I, I must be, like, cuckoo in the head or well, something. Well, you need help. Maybe. He does. You need to wake up. Pulling back that ribeye is like pulling back that duvet on my mattress, that stain, and... <sighs> wow, that's strong in alcohol. He's a good wine for this, right? All right. Gina claims her hands are tied in the kitchen. So at this point, I don't know who to blame. That rice is mush. Who cooked that? It's like oatmeal. What the fuck? Idaho rainbow trout with the herb risotto. Jesus. What's all the uh, squidgy bits around the outside? Those are all the sauces. All the sauces? Yeah. No. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Ah. Is that risotto or some of the plaster that your dad left over from building the new lodge? It's still got the scales on it as well. Why would you leave the skin that's soggy like some used condom? <laughs> that has to be the worst trout I've ever seen in my entire career. Wow. Does mum and dad see this food? Do they come and have dinner? They hate everything. They hate the, the dish or? Everything. They don't like the way that she does anything. And why is she here? When you're in the heat of the season, we kind of just take what we can get. You can't keep on changing your chef every year. I, I agree. We do it every year. Fuck it now. If this place wasn't run by your parents, would you work here? Hell no. Not, not for a second. I don't want to run a restaurant. How keen are you to get out? I, I'm desperate. And if you got a job tomorrow, would you be off? Yeah, I feel like I've kind of done my part, the part that I told him that I would do. You're obviously concerned, and you're doing it more out of affection as opposed to you really want to be here. Sounds like your mind's made up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get them out, please. Would you both come out, please? Both of us? Would you come out? Mm. Both of you. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Jeff Ramsey, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Wow, uh, so I'm lost for words. What feedback did you get throughout my lunch? I didn't say anything throughout this. He didn't say a word this. Nothing at all? Not yet. Course by course? You didn't even talk to them? No. Why not? I figured that was what you were going to do when we were done. I was hoping at least you're going to say something to them so they can up their game, no? I actually expected you to say something, and I thought, well, should I ask? Or I kept thinking, OK, must be OK. I haven't heard any comments. Don't you want the truth? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Do you know the owners hate your dishes? No. You don't know the owners hate your food? No, I did not know that. You've got no idea that Dee Dee can't stand the curry? No, I never knew that. I feel like people have been lying to me. Gina, I don't blame her. Let me, I, I'm going to be frank. The ribeye was overcooked. It looked like we'd opened at the bottom of the dishwasher and that plug was blocked with bits of floating grease. Oh, <laughs> oh God. You may find it funny, but 
you know, no, it was funny the way you just described no, it. No, but art. I mean, no, I'm not trying to laugh about the real. No, no, but oh, fucking hell. Look where we're sat, though. If you phone me on my telephone in the car and ask me what do you think I'm going to be having, I would have never have mentioned those dishes. You did nothing to blow me away. I'm trying to use the ingredients that Dave asked me to use. A lot of it is cost, so I was tied to that. Art, oh, you're the sous chef. Is there any synergy in what you're doing? No. You're just doing it to survive. No one's thinking long term. It's stifling the business. I'm amazed you're still open. Zach, I don't know if you've got one foot in, one foot out. You shouldn't be here. Fucking hell. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Wow, not even wrapped. Where are the burgers? I mean, it just doesn't look anything like a burger. And when it's processed like that and stamped and pressed, you can just tell. Right. Frozen food. Wow. Brett, come with me. Yeah. How's the fettuccine? It's OK. Not the best. Damn, I'm sorry. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. A burger cooked here locally, would you expect that to be frozen or fresh? Fresh. The burger is not frozen. It's the, it, the patties and everything come in frozen and they're thawed out. Is that like most oh, people do? You thawed it out. So it's not the frozen beef. then? It comes in frozen. Yeah. You thaw it out and yeah. that to the, your customers is not a frozen burger? Well. Um, stay there, let me just show you, you something. You, I'm waiting for him to come back. He's going to ream me on something. Oh, boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's your burgers. It's a frozen. Thank you. Now, your husband said it wasn't. No, what do you mean? No, it's, it's, it's frozen. Of course, I, I never said that it wasn't. It, we thaw it out here. Yeah. It comes in frozen. Yeah. It's still a frozen burger. There's no such thing as a fresh burger, at least, at least here in eastern Washington. We, we cannot get fresh. There's no fresh. You find me the burger. Come with me. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome. Thank Please come in out of the cold. Are you joining dinner? Us dinner? Yes. Quick question. Do you love a burger? Yeah, I love yeah. a burger. Madam? Yes. Would you expect them to be made fresh here or frozen? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? Fresh all the way. No, should we tell them the truth? I mean, that's what we want to well, do. Well, we, we sell uh, our, our burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. But thawing them out? doesn't make them fresh. fresh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, you guys. Welcome, ladies. Hey, folks. How are you? Quick question. Coming out for dinner, would you expect a frozen burger to be served here tonight or a fresh one? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? I'll let you tell them. Oh, come on. You own the place. Well, we all of our beef that we get in, burgers, it comes in frozen. Okay. Our burgers, and we, and we thaw them out. Which, in his mind, convinces him it's fresh. Oh. Does that make it sound any better? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're still thank glad you. to have you. Thank, thank you. You, you, you bet. Oh, my God. After Brent tried to convince me that there were no fresh burgers in town... Hmm? I almost cry. It's OK. You did good, huh? I'm proud of you. I walked directly across the street and ordered one. So that's the lamb burger. <laughs> nice to see you. Coming to a restaurant like this, would you expect your burgers to be fresh or frozen? Fresh. Burgers come in frozen, and we thaw them out. That's the story. Thank you. So that is a lamb burger. Fresh. I'm getting sick to death of this denial, denial, denial. You've been making up bullshit oh, all fucking bullshit. day. Yes, 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 you have. No. All your staff have the same thing to say. Passive aggressive, condescending, inappropriate, and stubborn. No, absolutely not. The staff, the way you treat them? What? There yeah, you go no, again. Yeah. Denial, oh, denial, no, denial. No, no, no. You're just scared about employing a team that's going to tell you the truth. That is bullshit. That is not Because you don't like them confronting no. you with the truth. Yes, sir. You'll fire them. No, I haven't fired and then anybody. I heard that you fired your son. Oh, shit. You don't even know the fucking story. He was having some issues, Gordon, and I told I him... I was aware of the he, alcohol problem. He, I was aware right, of that. Right. I was trying to save his life. Yeah. My brother's a drug addict. We put him in rehab seven times, unsuccessfully. Mm -hmm. I don't give up on him. Yeah. But what I'm more concerned about is that nothing's affecting you. It's like we're doing great. And, and generally, the place runs quite well. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're shutting it down. 
You just sent everybody home. Stop. Stop. That is possibly the worst thing I've seen so far. How do you reheat that? In the microwave. In the microwave. It doesn't even hit an oven. But we used to cook them fresh, right? So what, what I changed? I wasn't here. Yeah, so what happened? Stop. I'm not serving it. Stop. What happened? Ask Karen. I ain't the one that bought the chickens. Uh, I have a rather have a rotisserie thing back here. I can have fresh chicken. We need but new equipment. This is what it's resulted in. Yeah. This is what we're serving. You can't buy this from a grocery store. No, you can't. Sprinkle it with pasta and expect to call yourselves a restaurant. I know what you. I know what you're saying. And you just like a butterfly fly around, just painting all little bits of shit over holes. This is insane. I'm done. I'm. I'm upset. I'm. I'm feeling sick. And I've never seen such a disgusting mess in all my fucking life. It's embarrassment to you, 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 and me. And I'm not going to stand there and watch you serve shit like that and take customers' money. What is this? I eat them often, the rotisserie. You they... eat them often? Mm -hmm. What yeah. does that say? I guess it's just that I don't. What does that mean to you? You eat this crap often? Come on. You're running a hotel. The burgers were cooked yesterday. Well, when I ate them, and I always tell them they tasted good to me. Oh, God. So. Where's the burgers that you cooked? Down here, sir. Get them. I, my understanding is he pat in the mouth and then put them in the oven. How long for? For about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes in an oven. How many of your customers expect burgers to be cooked like that? Baked in the oven for 20 minutes, so there's no color on there. Cooled down, stuck in a Ziplocker bag, out, boiled in water. Should we go and do another survey? What's well, 80% Chuck? In it's just you're a in hamburger. Denial. You are seriously in denial. Miss Sarah, would you like a bite? No, thank you. Why not? It's not cooked right. Well, should I boil it up for you and get it warm? What color is that? It's white. That's what frustrates me. We're all pretending that this is good. I thought that's what the cooks... No. I mean... Come on. Not, I mean, I'm not trying to blame it on the cooks, you but... You can't blame it on me because ain't nobody hearing me. I'm amazed you're not shut down. Freezers lined up next to a dumpster. What lives outside in those passageways next to dumpsters? Bat, rats, and alligators. Yeah, bats, rats, and mice. You are in denial. You have a big problem. You've got no idea that this place is crumbling. And you're just going through the motions. Mr. Ramsey, my guests want to leave. Your guests want to leave? Yes. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Can I fucking join them? Bye. 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 Are we serving food at all? Should I let them Young leave? Man. And we're in danger of even being shut down by the health authorities. And there is no fucking way I'm going to stand there yes, sir. and watch this go. shit being yes. reheated and served. So sorry, we're not moving forward.